Hi, this is Danelle, Living the Good Life, wanting to bring to you some garage sale and estate sale finds for the May 6th through May 13th time frame. It's a conglomeration of a few different trips and I wanted to go ahead and show you what I have. Let's start on this side first. I uh, went to an estate sale on Thursday, May 12th and it was of a crafter. Uh, since my sister-in-law uh, does a lot of uh, cra of uh, crocheting, found this bag of thread for six dollars for all of it. There's uh, three white skeins, uh, about three blue, and two multicolored. It's um, Lion brand. Uh, I love this yarn and Red Heart. So now I got that, and then I also got this brand, which I cannot pronounce, for a dollar. And uh, then I just got some just useful things, which I like to get at estate sales because they can be so much cheaper. I think I paid pretty much what this is in the uh, store. So this is some cotton swabs for $2, some wipes for a dollar, some more cotton swabs for $1. Uh, I also got some uh, brand new washcloths for 50 cents a piece. And I got this glue stick uh, for a dollar. There was also a box of 50 cent items in the laundry room that everybody had overlooked. And I got several things out of that, including five uh, deodorants, brand new, for 50 cents. And a couple other things that I put up, but I can't remember what I did with or what they were. Uh, I also got into the office, and they, they had enough office items to start their own business. Um, but there was an area where they had greeting cards for for a dollar, which I thought was a great deal until I went to an estate sale the next day and they were 10 for a dollar. <laughs> so got some good cards there. Um, I think I got 30, something like that. Um, then I went to another estate sale and I got these um, commemorative plates. This is for Queen Elizabeth's coronation in 1953. It was marked $10, but I got a bundle deal, so I'll talk about that in a second. Here is the mark, and they're a little grimy, so I'm going to have to clean those. Here's also the Silver Jubilee for Queen Mary and King George for 1935, and here is the mark from Canada. There's a lot of crazing, as you can see, and uh, I don't have everything with me, but I got 10, um, I got some art supplies. So I got a set of oil paints, a metal count, uh, tabletop easel, these two plates, um, some saran wrap kind of things you put over the top of a, like a salad bowl. Uh, they look kind of like shower caps to me, but that's what they are. And then I got 10, um, can uh, you know brand new canvases we have I have an artist friend that uh, when I get them that cheaply um, I, get, I make sure I get them for her so I got all those items for fifty dollars so um, these uh, do plates came down uh, to be about five dollars a piece uh, once they bundled everything together and then I went to another estate sale and and got a sterling silver ladle. I don't know if you can see that. It's marked right here at the end of the handle. You can probably just see it there in the point. Um, $4. And then I got this uh, hobnail pattern. It's probably Fenton glass. Uh, yellow toothpick. And it was $2 if you can see that. Um, see if there's anything else I got there. That's all I got there. Uh, I did go to a garage sale that I passed on the way and I found this little chopper with the wood block at the bottom, the old um, uh, red handle uh, knobs that, you know, you see all those impl kitchen implements. I imagine it's probably 1940s uh, for that. That was 50 cents. I got this candle wick platter, crystal, glass, whatever, uh, cake plate. It has two handles, and as you can see, and it was $2. Again, I have it upside down. Uh, um, and then I went on to another estate sale. I got this uh, casserole carrier for 50 cents. Uh, I got, which will come in handy for the church potluck. Then I got some, um, 
uh, other items. Everything was 50% off, and it was Friday afternoon. Um, I got these um, pillowcases. They were marked $3 a piece, so the pair was $3 then. And I got this set, which was $4, so $4 for the pair. Got this bun warmer for $10. And I'm actually the first one I've ever seen with a handle. Uh, has the liner inside. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know my family has a little thing about bun warmers, which are great for grilling and keeping everything hot or bringing your rolls to the table. Also, I bought some OxyClean for $2 and some Try It from Stanley Home Products for a dollar. And if you've never used it, I recommend you go ahead and try to find somebody who sells it because it is great for getting out stains. And it always makes me think of being dragged to Stanley Products um, uh, parties back in the day in the 70s uh, with my mom and grandmother because that was the big deal back then along with Avon I guess um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and catch up oops, sorry I'm gonna go ahead and catch up on a garage sale from May 6th and that's where I got all the purses so all the purses added up to $31 but I got them for 25 here's a little um, bangled purse it was $2, and what I thought was cute is that the person selling them put these lucky pennies inside of them. I thought that was cute. $2 for that one, $2 for this one. Then there is a Tommy Hilfiger purse with the long strap for $4. Don't know what this brand is, maybe you do, but it also has a long strap, which I appreciate. That was $4. Then there's this coach bag that, that she was telling us, I guess, how much she paid for it initially, $150, or that's the retail price. She had $10 on it, but I'm saying since I got $6 off, I got this one for $4 too. Um, here's the interior if you're wanting to have a look at that. Uh, here's the little tag. I also got a uh, Ralph Lauren bag here for four dollars. Don't know if you can see inside very well um, and Then lastly, I got this bag for five dollars um, Hope that was fun for you. It was fun to buy if you like this video, please go ahead and like uh, send me a comment and subscribe. Thanks so much